Welcome to one more session on trying to make sense of pointers. In this, we shall be considering concept code number three. So what I have done is I have declared three variables of the type short int. You can declare short int by saying short int and then the variable names or you can simply just use the keyword short. So si, sj and prod happen to be three short integers. And we are going with the assumption short integers occupy only two bytes of data. So si, sj and prod, let us represent them like this. si is represented in the first circle, sj is represented in the second circle, prod is represented in the third circle. The question marks indicate that they have random or garbage values initially because I have not given them any value. To further our understanding of pointers, we will say that SI exists at address 200 in the memory, SJ exists at address 202 and prod exists at address 204. Now let's see what is the next step. In the next step, I am declaring two variables IPTR and JPTR with a star indicating that these are special variables in place of numbers they contain addresses. So IPTR let us say exists at address 1000, JPTR exists at address 1004. I am assuming that pointer data type sizes 4 bytes. So IPTR exists at address 1000, JPTR exists at address 1004. Then what I am doing here is I am assigning the address of SI to IPTR. What is the address of SI? It is 200. So 200 is the value or contents of IPTR. Address of SJ. So what is contained in JPTR or what is the value within JPTR? It is 202. 1000, 1004 are the addresses of IPTR and JPTR. 200 and 202 are the addresses or values contained in IPTR and JPTR. Now next step what I am doing is I am asking the user to enter two numbers. IPTR is 200, JPTR is 202. That means at these two addresses two numbers will be stored. Let us say at address 200 10 is entered and at address 202 5 is entered. So what do address 200 and 202 represent? They represent SI and SJ with the addresses 200 and 202. So we have entered 10 and 5. Now next step what I am doing is I am saying prod is assigned star IPTR multiplied by star JPTR. Nothing to really worry here. IPTR stands for 200. Star IPTR means what is the content or what is the value at address 200. Value or content at address 200 is 10. So this will be replaced by 10. What is JPTR? JPTR is 202. What is star JPTR indicates? What is the value or what is the content at address 202 which is 5. So 10 into 5 is going to be 50. So product will end up becoming 50. And in the last step I am simply going to print product is percentage HI. It will print 50 on the screen. This can be verified by this particular step. Just we are trying to print one value here at and which happens to be 50. So this should have given you further understanding into pointers. The whole idea you need to understand is star means content at that particular address or value at that particular address. So if I put a star next to 200, what is the value at address 200? 10. If I put a star next to 202, what is the value at address 202 which is 5. So that's all you need to understand. If you have got it, this is all there is to pointers. We'll be doing a few more programs to reinforce. But the whole thing you really need to understand is star means give me the content at that particular address. Since IPTR contains an address, if I attach star with IPTR, IPTR is replaced with 200, star 200 is value at or content at address 200.